Did you see Barack Hussein Obama last night? Take little shots. He was taking shots at your president. And so was Michelle. You know, they always say, sir, please stick to policy. Don't get personal. And yet they're getting personal all night long, these people. Do I still have to stick to policy? Let me ask you about that. We're going to do a free poll. Here's the two questions. Should I get personal? Should I not get personal? Ready? Should I get personal? Should I not get personal? I don't know. My advisors are fired. No, we'd rather keep it on policy, but sometimes it's hard when you're attacked from all ends. I mean, they want to put you in jail for nothing. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gar spangled, banner yet wave. Oh, the Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances that, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing to Kamala. There's the childish nicknames the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. <laughs> it, it, we do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse America's ready for a new chapter. America's ready for a better story. We are ready for a President Kamala Harris. He knows who he is, and he knows what's important. You can tell those, those flannel shirts he wears don't come from some political consultant. They come from his closet and they have been through some stuff. <laughs> they have been through some stuff. That's right. The same old con, doubling down on ugly, misogynistic, racist lies as a substitute for real ideas and solutions that will actually make people's lives better. Look, because cutting our health care taking away our freedom to control our bodies, the freedom to become a mother through IVF like I did, those things are not going to improve the health outcomes of our wives, mothers, and daughters. Shutting down the Department of Education, banning our books, none of that will prepare our kids for the future demonizing our children for being who they are and loving who they love. Look, that doesn't make anybody's life better. Instead, instead, it only makes us small. And let me tell you this, going small is never the answer. Going small is the opposite of what we teach our kids. Going small is petty, it's unhealthy, and quite frankly, it's unpresidential. Why would any of us 
accept this from anyone seeking our highest office? Why would we normalize that type of backward leadership? Doing so only demeans and cheapens our politics. It only serves to further discourage good, big-hearted people from wanting to get involved at all. America, our parents taught us better than that, and we deserve so much better than that. That's why we must do everything in our power to elect two of those good, big-hearted people. There is no other choice than Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. No other choice. Unfortunately, we know what comes next. We know folks are going to do everything they can to distort her truth. My husband and I sadly know a little something about this. For years, Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs. <laughs>